So back over here at Composite FX here in Trenton, Florida, the challenge for today is loading seven of their kits into a 20-foot container in less than two hours. Let's see if they can make it happen. We need to get this stuff out, out the door. You know, our customers are waiting on product and we're here to give them helicopters. My hammy muster right on. For those of you that don't know, Composite FX manufactures one of the most searched personal helicopters on the internet, the Mosquito Helicopter. And today, you're gonna witness the Composite FX team squeeze seven complete kits into the short bus container all before the driver takes off back to port. Feet. That's the short bus. Where's <laughs> the short bus? Where is this thing? There's a 20 foot ISO container leaving from Trenton, Florida with the contents of seven and a half helicopters in it. Uh, it's going to Port of Melbourne, Australia to our Australia dealer, Mark Rendell. Long, long ways away. So this more or less is their shipping department and some storage for the kits that are sent out the door on almost a weekly basis, meaning sub-assemblies and so forth. All the boxes and bulk items were staged strategically and planning for this day to make sure this two-hour loading challenge was successful. Even to the point of coming up with a plan to utilize all of the square footage available in this container. So you had to do like a double decker to take advantage of all the real estate above because this is such a short container right yeah it's, well it's a yeah it's a it's a it's a short container the customer of course doesn't want to pay for a 40 footer if he doesn't have to and so we went double decker and that way we get pretty much uh, twice the uh, twice the floor space out of it we started our day with a three and a half hour drive out to Trenton Florida arriving at composite FX around 10 30 a.m. local the container didn't arrive until sometime around 2 p.m., which is much later than any of us were expecting. The shipping or freight company only allows a two-hour window to load the container as the truck driver is supposed to bring it back to port before the end of the workday. So that is why the two-hour challenge for today, and I'm sure these guys would have appreciated an early morning arrival as it sure got hot at two o'clock in the afternoon in Florida. Have you ever had to load a container for any reason? Drop us a few comments telling us what for. And while you're at it, like this video so we can make you more videos. So I was watching, obviously we're, we're capturing the install here of all the parts and so forth. You actually create a floor, but a subfloor to to carry the, is it the landing gear? The yeah, landing, landing gear fits in the, uh, in the subfloor as well as some other boxes. And uh, um, so you're literally uh, we're, 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 we're going to utilize um, every square inch. Yeah, uh, 80, thing. probably 80 percent of the cubic foot in this trailer. That's awesome. All of the helicopter bodies or cockpits you see were manufactured on site here at Composite FX. What is being loaded here today is actually seven complete helicopter kits, including engines. We invite you right now to join our Patreon community of aviators, at the same time helping us fuel the truck to bring you more original aviation content. I don't know guys, 20 feet uh, sounds a lot bigger than it is. That's pretty small. So in between them loading the 20 foot container over there, I'll just walk around real quick, give you guys a short uh, kind of intro to composite effects if you've never been here before. We did a complete deep dive into the manufacturing process, which I'll link another video uh, below in the description below if you want to check that out. But it's a quick walkthrough of Composite FX here in Trenton, Florida. This is their final assembly area and out the back door is that grassy area for the initial hover testing. 
These helicopters are equipped with either a shaft-driven turbine or a two-stroke piston engine. And they are toying with the concept of an electric version right now. Most all machining and fabrication is done in-house here as well. And the owners are quite experienced engineers. So there is always something interesting to see in the works here at Composite FX. So a lot of care taken here at the uh, composite effects. Yeah, well, it, this this stuff doesn't happen overnight, yeah. right? So it's nice to see that it all happens at once. But this is the culmination. Some of these bodies were produced uh, three, four months ago. Uh, some of them not that long ago. And uh, we need to get this stuff out out the door. You know, our customers are waiting on product, and we're here to give them helicopters. Awesome. Let's get it done. You got an hour to go. Knockout. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com. AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net South Mississippi Light Aircraft at FlySMLA.com Foxtrot 95 Calhoun County Airport at FlyFoxtrot95.com Edge Performance at EdgePerformance.no Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video and visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, and so much more. As Norbert mentioned, this equipment and placement of pieces and parts was engineered to the max. I'm gonna have to science the sh out of this. In order to fit everything into this tiny, 20-foot, short bus, stubby little container. So the design of this double-decker with a subfloor to house the landing gear and boxes was genius in my eyes. It did require a few little test fits along the way to confirm all of their design dimensions were accurate and a few tiny adjustments here and there to keep things moving. Even the boom tubes or tail cones were designed with a purpose-built rack to sort of Tetris game them to fit. The all composite bodies, ironically enough, were actually the easiest pieces of this puzzle and only required a few fasteners to hold them to the floor and an engineered, let's call it a truss system above to keep them from rocking. Of course, working inside of an oven all afternoon did require frequent hydration. What can I say? It's hot in Florida, even in September. So it's gonna fit? Oh yeah, it's gonna fit. It's gonna fit easy. We should, he, wish our dealer would've sold two more helicopters. We'd've fit them in there.
Now on the home stretch, one of the last pieces and parts to get loaded is the beautiful finished and painted helicopter body. Someone is getting a real head start on their kit project. And don't forget the jet turbine engine to impress your neighbors when you fly away in your backyard. All right, guys, you've been in an oven for two hours. How does it feel to be out? Better. We're done. <laughs> Better than it did. So I'll be honest, I was a little bit skeptical when I saw the short bus 20-footer show up. Like, that was a <laughs> lot of stuff to fit in there, but you got it done in exactly two hours. No drama. Yeah, right? no well, drama. That was a little bit of drama, but maybe your camera didn't catch that. So um, how long is it going to be on the water, are you estimating? It's supposed to be on the water six weeks. Um, and it's going to Jacksonville port right now, making it to the port of Melbourne. And uh, I don't think the ship sails until, well today's the 7th. Um, I think the ship sails on the 11th, 10th or 11th, something like that. So about six weeks. So this is going to your dealer in Australia. So these are already sold to, uh, to customers, to builders. Right. So we, we should see seven more uh, helicopters fly in the next year down yeah, there probably. Seven more. So the, the two of them are going to be built or three of them are going to be up built on site at the dealer. Uh, and, uh, and the rest of them are going to be shipped around in, in Australia. And in the next year, I imagine we've got at least seven more kids coming, coming together over there. Awesome. Well, guys, that's how you fit seven <laughs> helicopters into a 20-foot short bus, bus uh, container. And it wasn't just the airframe, you, you had engines. That's what the boxes were. Engines, there was full, there, those are all full kits. Yeah. There's, uh, there's, there's two turbine engines, there's piston engines in there, there's all the other uh, fiddly bits that, uh, that go together and make the helicopter. Awesome. All right, well, thanks for following along today. If you're still here, we know you love aviation and this episode. So engage that like button and remember to share this episode with your friends. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Experimental Aircraft Channel. Remember to like, subscribe, and to hit that bell so you don't miss a single episode.